I'd like to welcome you to the 80th Entrepreneur Breakfast. This is the first meeting ever held in this new facility. And, and congratulations to the Virginia War Memorial. Um, in fact, they will be um, uh, having their grand opening this Saturday at 10 a.m. And everybody's welcome. Uh, right? That's great. Good. <laughs> right? Uh, they said on the website uh, to um, dress appropriately because it'll be outside. Um, uh, and to tell you more about that, I'd actually like to introduce Clay Mountcastle, from, who's the director of the Virginia War Memorial. Clay's a retired Army officer, uh, served in Ger Germany, South Korea, and Iraq, and he served with the 82nd Airborne, the U.S. Army 5th Corps, and the Army Special Operations Command. He's also been a professor of military history and written uh, uh, books and many articles on the subject. Clay Mountcastle. All right. Well, thank you, Stan, and, and thank you all for being here this morning. We are very excited here at the War Memorial to have you here. We needed a nice big group of guinea pigs to try out <laughs> our new parking facility and our new lecture space before our dedication. We were looking at each other. It was like, where can we get a big group of people that's willing to come here <laughs> on a rainy day and do it? Well, thank you all for being here. But as Stan said, uh, Saturday is a big day for us, a uh, big day for the Commonwealth, because it's the 64th anniversary of the dedication of the original Shrine of Memory, the original War Memorial. And we're going to honor that anniversary by dedicating our newest uh, extension to the Shrine of Memory that holds the names of 175 Virginians that have paid the ultimate sacrifice during the global war on terrorism. And the names date back all the way to 1982. David L. Reagan, a Marine, was killed in the attack on the U.S. Embassy in Beirut in 1982. And then uh, it picks up from there. So if you can find the time to join us on Saturday, uh, we're going to have a wonderful event. And I, I hope, my hope for that uh, event is that people walk away from um, seeing this expansion, seeing the memorial, and feel a lot of pride uh, in the Commonwealth. Uh, this whole effort has been a, a collaborative effort between the state and the people of Virginia, people that have supported the War Memorial Foundation in their efforts to contribute to our programming and all the various wonderful things that we do here at the memorial that makes us the best memorial of, of its kind in the country. No other state, I'm, I, I talk to people from other states all the times, uh, no other state goes to quite the distances that we go to here in Virginia to try and honor our veterans and to appreciate the sacrifices that, they, that they've made and the family members that have been impacted by that as well. So we're very happy that you're here. We hope that you enjoy um, not only this morning's event here at the War Memorial, but every single event that you experience when you come back, hopefully frequently. Um, and the only other mention I'll make is next week on the 5th of March, we're going to be having our um, grand opening for our Veterans Art Gallery that you saw while you were out there. Six different veteran artists and our featured artist, Mike Fay will be here as well. So come on out. It uh, begins at 6 p.m. on the 5th of March. That's a Thursday. Come on out and, and spend time focused on seeing veterans in a bit of a different light, uh, learning that veterans are more than just folks that serve the country in the uniform. They have a lot of different things that they can do, and, and beautiful artwork is one of them. So again, thank you all so much for being here. It's a pleasure to have you at your war memorial, and we look forward to seeing you often in the future. Thank you very much. I didn't know we were guinea pigs. <laughs> so.